Well, hello there. It's Tuesday night on the 17th of July, I think it is, 2018, up here in northeastern Ohio. And I think I'll redo the sound, the audio, because I was just so pissed. It's Now it's 9.50 p.m. And I was out here before 9. But as soon as I started recording, it's after 9 p.m., the sun's gone down, it's getting dark out, and right next door neighbor was running the lawnmower and screaming kids who've been in a house all day till at night. So, anyway, I was not happy. <laughs> but anyway, so we have a 31% waxing crescent moon up here. It was in the southwest sky, it might be in the west by now, and we can see how far spread apart it is from Venus. Two nights ago when we got it, they were what I call next door neighbors or partners. But each night the moon rises about 50 minutes later. So if you come out here about the same time each night, the planets will be around the same position, but they'll have scooted a little bit. But the moon will be showing up a greater distance away. So right now the moon's in between Venus and Jupiter. But by Friday it's going to be the moon and Jupiter who are neighbors. And then on next Tuesday, the 24th, that's when the moon and Saturn are going to be companions together. Now that's next Tuesday and then on next Friday, that'll be July 27th and that's when on the other side of the planet is when they're going to have the lunar eclipse. We're not going to be able to see it over here in North America. But on that day, it's also the full moon. And it's also the day that Mars is closest to Earth. So good viewing. Well, it's been good viewing for Mars. So, But hopefully it'll be even better a few days prior to the uh, 27th and a few days after. So look for Mars in your southeast sky. For me, it rises. It's still not above the trees or anything. Saturn is stuck. You know how each night I was having trouble getting Saturn because I kept having to hit up against a fence uh, as each day went by. So it was inching further into the trees. It was coming in through that, uh, over by that backward sea, those branches of the trees and now it's ensconced in the middle of the tree. <laughs> so at my usual time of coming out here where I can get to a little bit of the uh, sky and landscape and stuff like that, it's, that's my favorite time of getting the planets and moons and stuff. Um, I'm not going to be able to get Saturn, not until late at night, and by then I'm quite tired which is a reason I have a hard time trying to get to Mars because it rises so late. The old guy just takes his good old time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the Nikon for this part, try to get the moon. Okay, and for some reason, all of a sudden, I swear, I don't know, maybe I've shifted, but I haven't changed any settings on the P900 and now when you zoom in there's normally a bar that shows up on there and it shows you when you're in the white which is the optical zoom and then the blue which is a dynamic and then yellow when you're way out there. And now it's not showing up on the video. I don't know what's going on. I could have swore it's not just in still pictures. Or I could be losing my mind, I don't know, but <laughs> hey, could be anything. Not the moon's looking pretty good there. Quite watery, but... No, what the fuck? I know I can get in closer. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? Anyway, yeah, the moon rises about 50 minutes later each day. So if we come out here about the same time, which I try to each night, it's going to kind of look like it's going backwards compared to the planets. 
So Venus is over in the west and it will have moved a little bit, but not to the drastic, I'll call it, degree that uh, the moon has. But okay, I think that came out pretty well. I gotta figure out what's going on with with the Nikon. I know I haven't changed any settings and maybe it just works differently in this reality wherever I am. <laughs> oh my. Oh, fucking hell. It's eight after nine. They're inside all fucking day. Now at night when I'm out here to try to film, we got lawnmowers, we got screaming fucking kids. It's just ridiculous. Obviously, I'm gonna edit that part out. <laughs> all right, so while I'm here. Okay, we're just gonna have a look-see with a cannon. Yeah, I mean to tell you, there's something going on with the Nikon. Because I know I can zoom in further on that thing. It's like it's disabled or something. I'll, I will double check the settings, but I want to get this first. We have all kinds of shapes of the craters, don't we? Some oblong, some circular, others hexagonal. Some really irregular shapes also. Anyway. Alrighty, the pair's coming up pretty good tonight there. And we can see how far apart they're spread. And now, so we can see how far away Jupiter is from the willow tree. Use that as my measuring stick. <laughs> anyway, up here we have uh, Jupiter and four of its moons. There's two leading the way and two following behind. Now there's some reports that came out saying that they found new moons that are orbiting around Jupiter and uh, and of course it's possible, but they were saying the diameter of these so-called moons is like uh, possibly a mile or something like that. And I don't know, to me, I'd call that an asteroid, not a moon, but that's just my own opinion. <laughs> but if they want to label them planets or moons, whatever, they can. Anyway, we're going to get Jupiter with its bands. Take a look at it. It's not coming in the greatest. We had a lot of uh, clouds all day today. Yesterday also. Rainstorm last night. Good old summer weather. Okay, and though it's a bit grainy, that's pretty much a color that I see of the sky right now. With a little bit lighter down by Venus, darker over by the moon, then darker still over by Jupiter. But that gives us a general idea. Alright, I'll try to get some pictures now. And of course they're fucking done with the lawnmower, aren't they? <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe these children will go home and get into bed. All right, we got a spooky moon there. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, I don't think that Saturn. It'd be so nice if it was, so I'm not shut out again. Okay, my determination paid off. <laughs> Saturn is finally 
through that tree over there. Yeah, I've missed the bugger. The other night I tried to get it and I had like two seconds. I couldn't even dial it in before the before the clouds took it out. And that cloud bank, man, it sat over top of Saturn the entire time I was out here. <laughs> so I'll let it rise a little bit and I'm gonna call it a night. Wow, it's been a long one too. It's 10.07 p.m. now. <laughs> it's gonna take me forever and a day to get through this footage. God. So, on that Saturn note, I'm gonna wish you all a great night. Take care now. Bye.